our military is uh, going to destroy just military infrastructure. That's the first answer. But uh, you know that all last eight years, people in Donbass was under the Ukrainian artillery, and uh, we have uh, 15,000 killed uh, people in Lugansk and Donetsk. We have, uh, Can I just clarify before we go any further that when we have a, a hospital shelled and a university shelled, those are military targets, are they? Mm. We have to confirm every information we got from Ukraine. If I'm you confirming see it for you. I'm looking hospital. at it at Reuters now. No, 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 no. If you see a hospital, it doesn't mean that Russian military was attacked it. It can be Ukrainian military. It can so be the Ukrainians mistake. are killing themselves. Okay. Just give me a second if you've given me that flaw. Because uh, uh, you don't want to hear on us. Uh, you don't understand Russians. You don't understand people in uh, Lugansk and Donetsk. Let me ask you about the economic sanctions and everyday life in Moscow. Um, Western mm -hmm. countries are levying economic sanctions uh, on Russia. Are you seeing the impact of those sanctions in your everyday life? We we now in a tough time. But look at the uh, oil prices right now. Look at the gas prices right now. Nobody will uh, be in an easy life uh, in the next few months. Uh, and years, of course, because uh, British people, American people, European people uh, will uh, 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 will will be uh, will face some restrictions uh, because uh, you will not afford your uh, energy uh, so sooner or later uh, because it's too high prices right now, and of course the world is global. We are not uh, in a, like in an island. We are the huge, hugest country in the world. Yes, we have a small but tough economy. We have a strong and stable economy. Of course, uh, um, it's going to be some difficulties for our people, and uh, they will feel it uh, sooner or later. Let but, me ask you but, about the uh, uh, protests that we've seen in Moscow. We've seen thousands of people on the streets of uh, both Moscow. Uh, and St. Petersburg. Uh, are you able to judge and quantify how substantial that domestic opposition is to this war in Russia? First, uh, I can be, can't be against my people in Russia. We are united in Russia. First. Uh, the second one. Uh, have you seen thousands on the street? Have you seen thousands? Tell me, tell me the city when you, you've seen thousands. It's a lie. It's a direct lie. So there are no protests uh, in course. Russia, that's what you're saying? Of course, of course. Uh, we have many people who is uh, against the war. Uh, I can tell you even more. Uh, all people in Russia are against the war. But, but... Now, we can negotiate with Ukraine people and uh, 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 the Ukraine politicians and Ukraine uh, officials. I and you know that uh, in the evening we will see another round of negotiations. And uh, the first demand, uh, it's my personal opinion, should be ceasefire and humanitarian corridors. Is anyone around President Putin saying the way it is, or is he, do you think, surrounded by lots of uh, nodding acolytes? Oh, you know, uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't know who is around the, uh, our president, who is his, like, um, close circle. But we have government, we have parliament, we have uh, senate, we have people, we have civil society, we have uh, 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 different opinions in our country. But, uh, uh, and uh, of course, uh, our power should uh, hear uh, all, all, uh, all flanks of, 